We have your Livingston County, April 2022 real estate market update. Let's jump right into this. I'm Brian Gentile, Mid Made Properties. We always have DOM days on market, bat and lead off. But first, we have two things we always preface each video with. We have the month in arrears because the data is finalized. It's here, we have it, top press, ready to go. And then we have three years of data because the trend is your friend. One year of data would not make any sense. We're just talking about one year. So let's jump right into it. 51 days on market two years ago, 33 last year and 22 this year. So we're seeing again, big drop offs in days on market. His inventory is continuing to be constricted. Active number of homes. This is the one day data sample. So the day the data was taken, how many homes are on the market on that day? 604 two years ago, 303 last year, and then 295 this year. So just huge, huge constrictions here in Livingston County. Months of inventory is MOI. So this is at the rate that homes are selling, how long would it take to sell every last home with no new homes hitting the market? So just to give you some context, one to three months is a seller's market, four to six is a balanced market, and seven plus is a buyer's market, meaning there's a ton of inventory and the prices have come down. So 3.78 months of inventory two years ago, 1.18 last year, and then 1.29 this year. So again, they only have about five weeks of inventory available. So it's just, it's very, very steep seller market right now. And it's a quick ratio just to kind of see where we're at. Because again, it, it, you have to use a trend. When you're buying a house, you're investing. So investors want to know the trend, which way things going. Well, sellers have the advantages right now. New homes in the market. This is the number of new homes, people that actually hit the market the, the entire month. So 151 two years ago, 384 last year, and then 366 this year. So again, you know, it's some lockdown related issues here, but again, this number is decreasing right now from last year to this year, which really is frustrating. Price per square foot, $157 two years ago, 181 last year and 198 this year. The trend is your friend in this one. Again, we want to see which way the equity is moving. But if you, uh, if you, again, because this, this is a county by number, that's why. Uh, but if you take that number and multiply it by your square footage 198, you're gonna get approximately what the value per house is. However, and I know I know a lot of people are looking at Zillow and all the different sites out there trying to figure out what's going on, with their, you know, watching the price of their house move. However, this is again not a, a super, super accurate number. Algorithm based number, all that stuff. You have to have an actual human being, someone on our team, a professional or an appraiser come out to your property and actually give you a value on the home and see what's going on on the ground, look around and, and give you that valuation. Number of sold properties. So this is people actually selling and, and signing on a house at a closing office, 158 two years ago, 257 last year and 229 this year. So again, some lockdown related things going on here. But again, we're seeing a decrease because the less homes in the market, we're seeing less closings. So again, we'll see how this moves going forward. Not a lot of inventory coming on the market, so I would imagine these numbers are going to continue moving downward. So, appreciate you being here, spending your time with us. It's the most important asset we have is our time. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, info at mittenmadeproperties.com or question, comment here. We will answer them as soon as we can. Appreciate you so much, and we look forward to giving this information so that way you can make the best decisions for you and your family. We'll see you on the next one.